Starting my career as a DJ, I I was at um, I was working as, as a waitress at Geisha House in Hollywood, and a girlfriend of mine took me over to Avalon, and, and James Abila was playing, and I kind of got the bug for it then. So I went back to Geisha House, and um, the DJ that was playing was also a friend of mine. There's a DJ at Geisha House, and I asked if he would teach me how to do this, and uh, he said that. He gave me one lesson, and if I had potential, he would continue teaching me. But I had to learn the proper way on vinyl and everything like that, so. My style, I guess, I mean, if he wanted to put it into a genre, which I don't really like to do because I think that genres are very restricting and, and mm, genres always in all genres are always in flux. One day something could be considered Electro House and the next day it's fucking trance. Uh, I guess I would put it into Electro House category. Uh, I consider myself an artist. I produce, I write songs, um, and when I say I write songs, I mean lyrically, melodically. Uh, I sing as well. I have a collection that I've just put out with, I did a collaboration with the Rodnick Band out of London, and it's just been, uh, we did a, a show for it in London, and um, it's been in Vogue, Italia, and Vogue America and stuff like that. The theatrical part of, uh, you know, of watching me play, it's a performance and I love performing and I've been performing since I could, you know, I probably was fucking crawling in weird ways, you know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, performing is just in my, in my blood. like it's an experience for both me and the fans because I'm there for them and, and they're there for me and um, yeah so I, I just when I'm on stage I just you know I want everyone to get their money's worth <laughs> plus I love performing and that's not the only the, what you're seeing now is just tiny little speck on this massive pile of glitter that I'm going to explode within the next year. If something stops working, I just kind of laugh it off. Their computers, they're glitchy. Sometimes, mine, I'm all of my equipment, I've been really lucky to, they're very stable. And actually, I have one controller that's really funky because I dropped him on the ground. And I got my controller's robot, so I have robot one and robot two. And then I've got this MIDI 3D fighter that I use. Uh, that one's a little funky, and if it just turns off, I hit it. <laughs> and it starts working again. But I've been really lucky that nothing's fucked up too bad. But when it does happen, I mean, you just kind of laugh it off. There's nothing you can really do. And, you get it um, fixed as soon as possible, you know. Mm -hmm. And usually if, if there's other things going on, unless, well, um, 
Unless somebody pulls the fire alarm and everything goes out or it's not my fault. I was doing this show um, just outside of Los Angeles with Eric Pretz and I guess while I was performing one of the bouncers or somebody from the club staff got fired and so when he walked out he pulled the fire alarm and it shuts everything off because they don't want you know things going up in flames um, yeah so I just kind of went <laughs> talk to them for a little bit and then get it back going but you just kind of roll with it not much you can do Catering to the crowd. This is a lesson that I've actually um, had to learn, uh, relearn lately because uh, when I first started out, it was me catering to the crowd and then I was building my own style. So it would be me trying, you know, just to, to make sure that I had my, my sound so people would get it. And... And then I've been on a lot of festivals. I've you know done Identity Festival, and um, you know, we did an entire tour for that. And basically everything that I've done lately are festivals. So going back into clubs, for instance, Miami last week, I got kicked off stage <laughs> because I went. This, I don't know. Miami's Miami's interesting, but um, because they, they, you know, they thought that I was playing a little too hard. But that's the kind of that's the style that I play. However, it was a little bit their fault as it was mine because, you know, well, we've heard of you. We just didn't know what kind of music you played. Okay. <laughs> um, so lately, I've been I've been uh, reintroduced into, uh, you know, making sure that I I do cater to the, the fans. <laughs> Because the fans are there, are, are there to see me and watch me play, you know, my music and, and my productions, but at the same time, I'm there for them. I'm there. Um, vehicle in a sense to, to for them to you know come and let go and just be themselves and and there comes a time that you know you're not just doing it for yourself anymore you're doing it for them hi guys it's audrey napoleon and you are watching my life as a dj bye